Kemi Afolabi opens up on battle with lupus. Nollywood actress Kemi Afolabi has come out to reveal that her doctor told her that she has just five more years to spend on Earth. In an interview with Chude Jidonwo on the hashtag with Chude, the actress revealed that she has been diagnosed with lupus. She said that the illness has cost her a lot, adding that she had to sell some of her properties and has spent over 1 million naira on treatment, yet she did not get the desired results. She revealed that the doctor broke the news to her a year ago and she carefully noted that she does not know how long she has left. Kemi Afolabi, who quoted her doctor, said, and I quote, Make sure you are with your loved ones, at least. You still have up to five years to live. End of quote. I have lupus. It's not curable. I just have to take medications for the rest of my life. Just so you know, lupus is a disease that occurs when the body's immune system attacks tissues and organs. Earlier in January, the actress took, to her, took her fans by surprise when she said she had written her will and booked a space at the cemetery. In an Instagram post, she wrote, and I quote, I wrote my will and booked a space with Ebony Vault this year, 2021, but God showed me how faithful he is despite my unfaithfulness. Who am I that God is so mindful of my existence? Me, ordinary fan, that was a toss around from a private hospital to Lagos State University Teaching Hospital, to Ami Barracks Hospital, Waek, and finally Luth, where I spent over three months. Finally, I was diagnosed with a condition that has no cure, but can be managed by medications and takes me in and out of the hospital at will, SLE. Fluid blocked my lungs, affected my heart from functioning well, which was the reason for my breathlessness, and that is caused by the condition diagnosed. Surgery was the only option to drain out the fluid fast, end of quote. Mm. Ah, this is a very sad one right here. Um, you hear about people who are dealing with um, diseases like this that have no cure. Yeah. And then it is so easy for them to fall into depression. It's yeah. so easy for them to just give up on life in total because at the end of the day, it's like, I'm already going to go sometime soon and all that. But I like the fact that she's keeping a positive mindset. Um, Nigerians don't like to hear things like, I went to book space at the cemetery because it's like, oh, oh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, but then I mean, mm -hmm. they have told her that this is what's happening. And I think that just to ease, maybe to ease off the stress from her family, having to deal with all of that, she's written her will, she's done that. Um, I'll commend her and I hope that she's just in better health and better spirits. Mm. All right, so I would say that it takes a lot of God, it takes a lot of strength to talk about this, to come out and talk about this, because it's just very sad. Yeah. I, I don't really know how to feel right now. Mm -hmm. Like, it just saddened me and weighed me down. Uh, because I've heard of this disease before. Mm -hmm. It happened to uh, someone before, and the person passed. Yeah. And people are always talking about... I think even Tony Braxton talked about it at some point. Mm -hmm. But I, I, it's so sad that it's a terminal disease. It doesn't even have, have any have a cure. cure. Yep. And yeah. how she's feeling, how her family members are feeling, how the children are feeling, how she feels. At, I know she has a daughter. I, I, I'm, like, I'm just so short of words, mm. and I can just wish her the very best mm. and hope that perhaps a miracle will happen. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, for me, it just shows me how strong she is. I think she's a very, very strong woman. And um, with the idea of getting a vault, I think it was beyond the Nigerian culture. It was a, mm -hmm. probably a state of hopelessness. Like, OK, yeah. there's no cure. It's going to happen. Let me be rational about this, which mm -hmm. would have not just been affecting her. It would have been affecting her loved ones, her family members, yeah. you know, looking at it like, what do you mean you're booking a vault? So some you know? people are very yeah. realistic. Yeah. My yeah. grandmother knew where she was going to be buried. So they went to, when she was alive, they went to the reverend to bless the place the before place. she passed. Wow. And it was not even close to when she died. Hmm. So it's, it's hmm. as you said, we just have to wish her the best yep. yeah. and pray for strength for her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah.